Welcome to the sweet spots on a baseball bat or a tennis racket. We're going to illustrate that here with a simple physical pendulum. Probably the uh, most unique thing about it is the way I have it suspended. I have it on a fishing rod, if you notice that. Right now I also have the fishing rod clamped to a half inch rod from the base here, so there's a little more stability. It's half inch taller than I am. One thing I learned about this, don't make demonstrations taller than you are. That one should have been about this high for me, right? Okay. I'm going to uh, swing it. All right, most of you know that the center of percussion of this is going to be, if I have a pendulum suspended at the same point, it's going to be the point where a simple pendulum will be hanging, right at the bottom of the simple pendulum. So let's do that. For those of you that aren't in physics, uh, we'll have it a little shorter right now, and I want to show you that the periods are different. Okay, convinced? All right, let's put it down too far. Should be different here. Okay, and as you can see, I've cheated. I did it before. Here's the simple pendulum and the physical. Calm down there, guy. Here's pretty much the same, all right? I will pull this up out of the way, remove the clamp. Now you can see the fishing rod suspension. And pool cue, actually it's the old kitchen broom, I guess. And I'll strike it right up at this point. Watch the green spot up here, the green square. Notice the violent reaction right after I hit it. And then I'm gonna go down below. Okay, not quite as bad. Now we'll do it right at the center percussion. Watch the spot now. Doesn't swing your hands when you bat there, does it? Thank you.